Yes, what, Lee. What are we doing today? We are trying to make John Mayer's board on a budget. John Mayer's pedal board on a budget. John Mayer's pedal um, board. You're going to see board. on screen now a photograph of John Mayer's big pedal board. So this is a recent photo from uh, John Mayer Gear on Instagram. Uh, that's where I got this photo. Yeah. John Mayer's watching this and going, that's, that's, that's not, my board. not my board, there's someone else's that's board. <laughs> uh, there are some pedals on here that we recognise, yeah. uh, and there are loads that I don't recognise, but we've got here loads of stuff. We're never going to be able to do a board like this on a budget, but we've got drive pedals, octaves, uh, Qtrons, delays, tuners, yeah, wah -wahs, wah -wahs, compressors, pedals Stop. I've never seen. Yeah, Kirkland. There's one here, Les Leslie Nielsen is on there. Oh, that's brilliant. Which I think it's a switcher thing because uh, it just goes into one thing. Right. right. What we really need is just the, the 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 main thing that he uses, right? Which is definitely a Qtron. You're into your Qtrons at the moment. Yeah, I'm so getting into some that. sort of filter. Okay, an some sort of filter. filter yeah. Definitely a a, t a TS of some kind, a tube screamer. Yeah. Because yeah. that's what he says. If it's green, I can make it sound good with one thing on it. That's, awesome. So he's into his tube screamers. Then, of course, a clon. On this one, he's got the Solar Dallas. Uh, Has he? Yeah. yeah, I thought that was what that was. Yeah, SD so Solar Dallas. So this is the whole thing. They talked about his gear, and he had this a black version of the clon on there. Right. But nobody knew what, which if it was a real clon or whatever, but because it was black, and of course, no, none of them were black. So is there a sm Has he got a smaller board that maybe we can? A smorgas board. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. So here, this is a Dead and Company board. And I would say this is a bit more synonymous. This is another. This is yeah, but this is again Dead and Company. This is a bit more synonymous with what we would say he's got a boost. I think we could drive, do this. Clon, Qtron, right. delay, right? That's very John Mary, right? So we're going to go. Yeah. So we're going to go boost. boost. Got to find an affordable boost. Yeah. That's like the Katana boost, which is what he's using on here. Yeah. We've got to find a TS style drive yeah. that's going to be like. So he's, that's interesting. He's not using an 808, is he? What's that? Is that that's a, a TS, TS 10. 10, isn't it? And I, I t I'll tell you what, Lee, uh, mm. back in the early 2000s or maybe late 90s, mm. I had a clone I sold it. Because oh. I thought it was too big. A real one? Mm hmm. Bummer. Okay, so and I had a TS10 as well, which my so dad accidentally a clon drive, uh, some sort of filter Qtron. I think there is a affordable. There's affordable Q, Qtron, Q, uh, isn't there? Yeah. Uh, reverb. I think we'll just assume it'll be on yeah. the amp. So it'll be on a budget. So we talked about using a Boss Katana because we used that before. Yeah. Or Fender XL50 because that's his mm. kind of clean. Tone, so maybe the Fender will do. Yeah, I like the uh, Fender. You know, the Fender's good. Um, but okay, so we won't do a reverb pedal because we'll assume that's in the amp. We'll, yeah. But we'll need a delay pedal. Yeah. Of he's sort. got a Volante here, which is great. You've mm -hmm. got a phaser, but I, know, I can't think of many John Mayer phasers. I mean, with, if we go back to here, there is no phaser. There's phase no on phaser, there. is there? Um, we've gone back to the big. We've board. gone back to the big board here. Yeah. Okay. That's okay. Then, so the little oh, board. Uh, big board, little board, put in the cupboard. Hang on. I thought there was one other thing. He's got a. He's got, he's got a, an octave. He's got an octave on there, but I can't. Oh. I'm not sure which song that would be. I'll have, we'll have to just check out what. But he must use it because that's on this board, yeah. on this board, and on and that this board. board as well. So he must use it for. Maybe it's a the. Maybe it's a combination. It could be. It could be. All right. Well, look. Hang on. That's six pedals. Boost. So we've got a boost, a clean boost, uh, a tube screamer style drive, a clon style drive, mm -hmm. a Qtron, mm -hmm. a delay, and an octave. Mm -hmm. Do so we need tuner and wah? Because I'm seeing here <sighs> wah, wah, wah. He's got a triple wah. wah. Quadruple wah, wah, wah. wah. Yeah. What is he? Yeah, I mean. Wah! <laughs> I'm not sure. I mean, wah, tuner. That could I be. Mean, everybody needs a tuner, don't they? Everybody make? needs but a tuner. It's sort of not really wah! part of the tone. Um, uh, look, okay, so what is a. What's a budget? Have we got to have we got to include the board and the power supply within the budget? We probably have, haven't we? Oh, yeah. I didn't even think about that, but yes, probably. I think. But once we go in and check out what we can find, uh, we'll see what we have. Four, five, six, seven, eight. This is going to get. Exp I mean, on a budget now is already looking like going to be tough to do this for under a thousand pounds. So I think we. What happened? Really? There? Well, a you, thousand you, pounds. You've got you've got eight pedals and a board and a power supply. I mean, you, you know what people say, oh, is it, you know, pe pedals are not cheap, man. Even I think, cheap. I think I'm going to lose the wah because I don't, I can't, I can't think of 
John Mayer really ripping it up on a wah pedal recently. Maybe this is a Dead & Co thing. I'm not as familiar with what he does with Dead & Company. But when uh, when we saw John Mayer recently and were backstage with him, he never mentioned <laughs> anything about a wah pedal. Um, no, look, he did on. to me. Did he? Yeah, and uh, I saw him afterwards as well. So. And the, tu <laughs> the tuner, to be honest with you, I'm going to abort from this because... It's just, you know, you can get a clip-on tuner for the headstock if you want to. So we go, I think we're going to try and do six pedals. Boost, TS, Clon, Filter, Delay, Octave. Re use the reverb on the amp. See if we can find a, a board and a, PS, a PSU, PSU, power supply. Well, I'm not sure about the Octave. I might you think we could rather do a tuner or wah, to be honest. But, hey. And six pedals plus that. I think our challenge should be to try and do this for under 500 pounds. Yeah. Under 500 for the board but not for the gear so the gear we will pick something that's still affordable right? i think we're just going to go with a mexican strat and a and a and a i quite like the idea of that fender xl yeah because that sounded good last time it's got i mean that, katanas are amazing it, yeah. but they're in every video we use so yeah let's go and fender i really XL. like the xl50 yeah and really it actually did. it's a good we did agree didn't we when we used that's it before platform, for the platform. basic clean tone yeah it is it's fender probably still tone. number one isn't it Challenge we shall, accepted. And we shall, so we just be right back with all the stuff. Let's, just, we, let's just do that. Let's just do that. Right, okay. ready, steady. <laughs> right. Um, here we go. I have a, a board. I haven't bothered to Velcro anything on. And to be honest with you, I've just laid this out as an example of what it might look like. Uh, and when we do the demo, I'm just going to take them off the board and, and line them up. Because it's yes. quicker. Yes. This, yes. including the board, which comes with this rather lovely gig bag, and including some patch cables, which we haven't used yet, and a power supply and everything, is about 600 quid. So we've got 100 pounds over budget. But that's so, okay. I, that's not no, I think, I think we're just going to have to lose 100 pounds worth of pedals somehow. But just to go through what we've done, guitar's going to come in here. Tuner, landlord lock-in. Okay. Lock in. From the tuner into the Vox 845 wah. From the wah through all the various boosts. So Spark Mini Boost, Ibanez Mini Tube Screamer, Tone City Bad Horse. Yeah. Uh, we have a couple of alternatives here, depending on how we get on. We have the amazing, and not even sure if this is even official yet, um, <laughs> Tone City Durple. Durple. Uh, go find out, uh, you know, we'll put some information Search below as to what that is. Not sure how tube screamery that is, but it sounds great. Mm -hmm. And it's also something to do with Pete Hanori. Danish and purple, you see, Durple. Uh, and we've also got the Electroharmonic Soul Food, yeah. which is clonny, because uh, although the Tone City website suggests the bad horse is clonny, we are... Not sure. Uh, not sure. 100% But sure. we'll find out. Yes. It's very good sounding and affordable. Oh. Then we go from that, we're going to go into the... Do you know what, actually? I'm, do you think you do the micro cue after you the see, drive I'm, or before? I'm, I would... See, I'm looking at this board mm. here, and it looks like the Q-Tron yeah, is you after the After drive. the drives, yeah. It, it see, is. look. Yeah, so, okay. But so we'll go... Like, actually, you say that. It looks like it's looped. Oh! Ah! Look at this. Look well, at this. Look you, at this. you need to be looking at this too. Yeah. We're looking when, at the which board? The big board or the compact board? No, We're this looking is the at the compact, compact board. board. On this one here, it looks to me like the octave is looped into the Qtron. The big Qtron. Wow. All right. Well, look, we might play around with the order, but we've got a we've got a micro Qtron from EHX to do the filter stuff. We've got a sub and up from TC Electronics to do the octave. We've got a flashback mini from, again, from TC to do the delays. We're gonna use the reverb in the amp, and we're gonna power all these pedals from the Tone City Substation One. And as I said, everything, including this, including these cables, you get all the Velcro and stuff with the bag, is 600 quid. So if you're going, that's fine, I've got 600 pounds to spend, you can buy all these and have fun making your own pedal board. But for now, Pete, yes, let's darling. lose the board and make some tones. Let's do that. Right. Right. Um, we've tried to get some tones here. Pete's being very critical of himself, not of himself, but of the tones. And, I, and I've got to remind everybody here, we've got a 200 pound amplifier, 600 pounds for the pedals, and a 450 pound guitar. You could buy, True. it would cost you more to buy one of John Mayer's Clon pedals than it would all of this. Times, so, times four. Yeah, so we're just <laughs> gonna try and get as close as we can. Yeah. We've had a little bit of a fiddle around. We've kind of eliminated, by the way, the soul food in favor for the bad horse. But we're keeping the Durple in reserve because it's kind of 
it's not really a tube screamer and it's not really a clon, but it's sort of sitting somewhere in between. It might, I might think, still work. Yeah, it's closer to tube screamer, but not as it doesn't have that really mid hop. There is a mid yeah. switch on it, but so the first thing that we've really kind of worked out is that to get those very clean John Mayer tones, <laughs> you're really we're just using the spark yeah. to add some extra life to the to the amp. So if we play something with no spark, that's very clean. <laughs> Sounds a little bit lifeless. Yeah. Um. Sorry. So that's fine. So yeah. spark for that kind of clean tone. The tuner, by the way, I mean, just to show you what it does, it mutes the sound and it's a chromatic tuner and yeah. blah, 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 blah. So that's there. And also, just to, sorry to interrupt, but he has got, as far as I can see, he, the, all his pedals are hooked up like that. There's no switching system or anything. Yeah. And he uses pedals which has got boost, uh, uh, buffers. buffers in them, Yeah. which means that it'll buffer all the way through. So yeah. a tuner has got a buffer and it just, yeah, you know. uh, I appreciate this looks a bit like spaghetti on the top here. Of course, if we'd had more time, we would have put it on the board and we'd have made all this super, super tidy. Underneath with this uh, power supply, yeah. That's up to you if you do this. So that was the sort of the, those sounds. For some of those more kind of rhythmic and kind of groovy sounds where there's a little bit of hair on the, on the, in terms of gain, that's where we're using the Tube Screamer. So you can get this kind of... Maybe on maybe on, the, on that pickup or oh, here. It's taking a little bit of the bass end away, which is what tube yeah. screamers do, and I don't know that I'm liking that, but I'm liking the sense of that just slightly broken up. Uh, valve amplifier kind of tone. Yeah. Uh, what is it like with the with the spark as well? Let's just see see what happens. I think that would be more yeah. like a solo. Are you think so? Okay. Yeah. The bad horse is the clon. There's not. I don't think a ton of of like John Mayer riffy kind of sounds that were this. This is very much a solo-y kind of thing, just to push. And again, I think that some of the reasons we're maybe not quite getting the same interaction with the pedals and the amp that John Mayer would get is because we're using a solid state amplifier. Yeah. So it's not not kind of pushing the front end in the way exactly. it would do with a valve amp. And we're talking but, 100 watts and we're talking, yeah. you know, you've got a guitar with nine gauge strings on it. And but here we go. This is This is the basic sort of sound of a... So if you start doing some rhythmy stuff on this and then I'll I'll kick this in It is that kind of tone, he has that very, uh, I wouldn't say nasally, but yeah. that tube screamer tone that just breaks through a band, you know. I'm not as convinced that we've really nailed that tone yet, but I, look, I mean, I, I, I could roll a bit of the tone off of this, because again, I think it is that, let's keep going with that. Because it's not a bad, it's a good tone, but is it a John Mayer tone? I'm not sure. Should we I'm just... not sure. Double it up. Let's just see if... Uh, I'm going to replace the Mini Chew Screamer and the Bad Horse with a Durple. And just see what happens. I 
think that sounds better than than uh, it doesn't sound better. It, it sounds more like it. You know what I mean? That kind of. It's it's got the tonal characteristic. I think there's a bit too much gain on it. Let's just Maybe. try. You know what it's doing? It's doing a tube screamery thing, but without taking the bass end away. Exactly. Which I like. Yes. And that like. is the, that's the, that's one of the issues I have. But with the tube screamer is that it takes a lot of bass away. So when you play, it kind of. But in a band situation, I get it. I get the tube screamer. Well, we and we've, if the tube screamer loud, we've potentially got closer to our five hundred pound budget by replacing the mini tube screamer with the Durple. But I don't know which, whether I. I think I'd almost prefer to take out the bad horse and then there's not really any price difference between the two that yeah. rhythm guitar sound that you were doing before yeah. is very tube very tube it worked well yeah. so i think i'm going to put leave the derpel in take the bad horse out uh put the tube screamer back in and then we're still back to basically having to find some money to lose but i'll be yeah. honest with you okay i don't think we're going to use the wah wah and i don't think we're going to use the sub and up so i think we'll easily find the hundred pounds to yes, save yes anyway yes, yes, yes. just let me rewire. be right back now it's getting tricky. Yes. I think we've kind we of got go. three basic John Mayery tones here. We've got a nice clean tone, a nice kind of uh, slightly dirty rhythm, and a, and a lead tone, I think. Yeah. Now, some of the songs, he's super famous for using a micro, uh, sorry, not a micro, an Electroharmonics Qtron Plus. Yeah. And if you go and uh, watch Pete do a recent uh, Universal Audio demo where they do a cover of Rosie, yeah, it's nailed on. It's in my very, opinion, very close. It's using very, very close. the Qtron Plus. Yeah. Now the Qtron Plus is 130, 140 pounds. Yes. So we've chosen the Micro Qtron. Yeah. I can't even speak. <laughs> micro Qtron. Micro Qtron. <laughs> uh, the Micro Qtron. Yeah. <laughs> uh, which, according to my bit of paper on the floor here, is 85 pounds. It's yeah. about 50 pounds less. And it, it runs off a nine volt power supply, yes. which the other one doesn't. It's 24 volts. That's annoying. So, but can we get the sound? So let's try play Rosie. It's I don't know it, why the, the 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 proper Qtron this seems much more sensitive. It's either yeah. it's either going like whoa or not yeah. triggering the filter enough as you're playing it, whereas the other one seems to have a nice kind of Consistent. Were you using a compressor with the other one? Or no, I was using a Dane with slightly bit of. So the Dane went into the Qtron, which went into the interface, and then the speed, the amp was a Fuchs. Yeah. Uh, a amp, you know. Well, so that, I, I, it's something it, about the it, right frequency into mm. the Qtron. I like your mouth is going. Oh, that, but that's that's. It. <laughs> So I'm using a little bit of the, the tube screamer. I wonder if that's... And I'm backing off a little bit All right. on the volume. It's close, but it's also these close the filters, but far away. <laughs> no, because the filters are not always easy to control. It's mm. also how you attack yes. on the string, how your volume is set, which pickup you use. 
with string gauge, because if you've got thicker string, string gauge, you get a bigger punch in it. This, these are more flappy. Yeah. So I the think... whole... If I put it here and I go... I'm, I'm lifting off. I think that's very close. Yeah, it's close. But I think you need to play the pedal. Does that make sense? It, um, I was literally, I'm glad you said that because I think that's exactly it. The Q, the Qtron, any filter pedal like that, because the, the effect is triggered by the attack of the string, yeah. if you play wrong, not wrong, but if you know if you play with an inconsistent approach to attack or just the wrong attack for the pedal, you're gonna get either not enough or unwanted yeah, it's either uh, going to be too sharp excesses or too... of filter. But yeah. I think that stays because yeah. I think that's doing a thing. Yeah. Now, uh, Pete. So the, yeah, so, the, so on his board was the OC3, which the is octave. The, the octave boss. And you can loop in stuff within the big Qtron. And I think he's got, it looks to me like so you think he's doing both in with the same loop. time. Yes, but Let's try I it. think what, you, what it does when it's in the loop, I think it's kind of. Maybe it's parallel, or it's, I don't know. Oh, I how, see. You know what I mean? Well, we've got a we've got a blend control for the. That sounds less I like wanna, it to I me. I really want to ask him what he do, how hang he on, does that. Hang on a second. It's engaged. Sorry. Oh, um, oh he's calling me. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. Then, so um, I don't think I. Because that's. Uh, let, I, let's take this off. Let's show you what the sub and up is doing. It's so, an octave. So, so name a John Mayer song where that. I can't think. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, I can make it mega subtle if that's yeah. all it is. Uh, well, we I need, don't we think... need to save money. Yes, I don't I'll think take, take it up. I don't think this has got us anywhere no. nearer our no. tone I, than we had I without would like it. To so ask him what he I'll, uses that for. I'll phone him later. Honestly, I promise you. Okay, fine. Um, so lastly. As every good guitar player needs, oh, we've saved one pound fifty on cables as well. Yeah, Woo! and we had another one, so we actually had two money in the beginning. So we saved three pounds on cables. <laughs> um, every good guitar player needs a delay pedal, and to be honest with you, the uh, flashback delay is great. It is um, because you've got the opportunity of using it with the uh, tone print, where you can literally there is hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of tone prints that you can beam from the guitar into here. And what he uses it for is just a little slap back, sort of. Just a little touch. Yeah. That's kind of, that kind of thing. I do not. As far we, as I know. We haven't done a demo on a, on a TC tone print upload in about six or seven years, but it's yeah. like, seriously, Pete did it here and I've not seen it been done for ages. Yeah. You, you, Let's film this. You, 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 these are all free. Okay, so you go so onto the TC website, you go, I would like this delay, and there's artist delays, yes. and there's TC delays, whatever. So let's go in here and see, because there's hundreds of tone prints. So let's say a retro delay. You want to go on your back pickup here. You want to make Petty? sure. It's Dean Brown. Oh, okay. Uh, there's so many. So let's just, we'll click here. It says beam to pedal. Look at your pedal. Look at your pedal now. The pedal flashed. <laughs> There you go. So, and it's as simple as that. I love that noise. It takes me back to um, using a ZX Spectrum and a cassette to load games in when I was a child. And then you can adjust just feedback when you were a child. When yeah. We, I was playing with stone tablets and 
hammering them with so a... that's great and this is again about 80 quid so it's, a, it's kind of not the cheapest but it's the cheapest sort of like pretty good delay pedal I mean everybody use, has one of these on their boards and adjustments yeah. and everyone because it takes up little space yeah. it does a great delay sound and it's easy to yeah so get get the John Mayer kind of slap backy kind of sound it is literally little, just the one is that always oh, like, yeah. as that I don't even think he's got that much feedback. Wow. Because he uses Almost a double Aquapus, track, isn't it? That's true. Which, uh, which we could actually just have a look here and see really quickly what. what if uh, there's a TC Aquapus if setting. A, <laughs> no, there might be. There, it might be on that you can see on his board where they're set. Oh, I see. But he's got the Aquapus, and that's the same kind of thing. But I think he sets it just to a really, really sh one slap back kind of delay, not very much. Now. We could still do with losing another pedal. Uh, although actually, to be honest, you might be able to get away with a slightly smaller board now, but wah wah. Are we, is John Mayer a big wah wah -y kind of person? I'm not Let's sure. Let's just have a little look. Too much, isn't yeah. I can't even think of a. I can't even think of a song where, he, apart from maybe doing old Hendrix covers, I can't think of a song that he does. I think he was playing. Was he playing? He was using it definitely because he was standing, doing the rocking motion, the wah motion. I'm wondering if he actually plays that, Rosie with it. I think he might actually use a wah, you know, for that song solo. Well, you need it on the floor. There's no good okay, me no, kind no, of going no. like this. Okay, is but there? we'll we'll just say. Well, okay. So, so wah, wah, gone. Maybe gone, yeah. I'm getting rid we of the have wah. To, you know what, we have to ask him and say, what do you actually use this different stuff for? Because it would be really informative. Because nobody knows. Nobody knows, Does right. Does people know? Does He's, anyone know? He will literally just go, ah, it's like... Let me show you guys. Yeah, he will. So come into the studio. Look, right. I'm saying, Peter Hanore. Yes, darling. I'm saying this is our definitive sound like John Mayer on a budget board. Yeah, I think that's all you need. And I think what you'll be able to do is not only have we going to come in under 500 pounds here, I think we could go down a size of, of the pedal board as I well. I think so, yeah. So, yeah. Um, is... so we are going to be at here. Let's have a little look. We've got 30, 40 pounds, so up to 70. 70. 70 pounds for that, so up to 140. 45. 45, so 185. Mm -hmm. That's 85, so it's 190, 280, 270, sorry, 270, uh, 350, 410. Small pedal board, about 30 quid. Yeah, so 450. We're, we are well under the 500 yeah. pound budget. And we've got enough change uh, to get ourselves an Indian tonight. Yeah, or perhaps a Chinese, who knows? Mm, maybe. Oh, yes. um, there you go. What can we say? Uh, let's just now, right, Pete, please play us out with some, your favourite John Mayer inspired. <laughs> I'm going to put them all on and see what happens. <laughs> Challenge over to you guys. What do you think? How did we do? If you think you could sound more like John Mayer, it's not a, a sound like John Mayer, this, is it? Because well, we've done sound like John Mayer. That's before. true. We, but you, you have. There's the challenge. You have 500 pounds to go and put a pedal board together. You can have 200 pounds to buy an amplifier, and you can have up to 500 pounds to buy a guitar. And then there you go. And what you, would you get? If you can sound better than us or better than Pete, uh, send us a video <laughs> in, and then you can come on the show, and we'll do a whole segment for you. Oh yeah, there that'd you be go. Awesome, there's it? a prize for you. Right. See you later. Done. Done. Boom. Bye.